Welcome to the Crystal Garden, one of the most beloved heritage buildings in the capital. The Crystal has survived many changes since it opened in 1925 as Victoria's first public recreation and social centre. And now, after all those years, it's recently returned to something like its original role. When the Crystal Garden opened in 1925, it housed the largest heated indoor pool in the British Commonwealth. Construction was paid for by Canadian Pacific, which owned the Empress Hotel across the street, in exchange for tax concessions from the city, which supplied the land. The name was a reminder of the Crystal Palace in London, England, and so was the glass and steel roof. The Crystal Garden was billed as not just a swimming pool, but also an amusement center. It had meeting rooms, art displays, and wide promenades with lush greenery. Health-giving seawater was piped in from Dallas Road and heated in the Empress Hotel's steam plant. The city was so proud of this much-needed new facility that the opening festivities went on for a whole week. When CP's lease expired in the 1960s, the Crystal Garden was turned over to the city. Although it used chlorinated freshwater by then, the years of corrosive chemicals and high humidity had taken their toll. Rather than renovate the old pool, the city built a new one across town. The Crystal Garden was closed and remained empty and derelict for almost a decade. Through the determined efforts of Sam Balf, a new cabinet minister, the province acquired the old crystal, renovated it, and reopened it in 1980 as a tropical conservatory, which operated for 25 years. It was renovated again in 2005 to house a short-lived tourist attraction, and once more in 2008 to become part of the Victoria Conference Centre. Generations of British Columbians swam here, danced here, or learned about tropical plants and animals. Now it's a community meeting place once again. Although the building is more than 80 years old, with all the recent upgrades, engineers tell us that the crystal is now good for another 80 years.